To export a WPO365 configuration, for example, to support multiple identity providers, you should of course make sure that the configuration that you are about to export is a working one. You can, for example, use the plugin self-test to make sure that everything is working as expected. Once you've made sure that the current configuration is a working one, continue to the three dots and navigate to Import Export. And on this page, you will find a button to export the Azure AD configuration. So I'll click the button and this will, after some time, provide me with a link to download the parsable Azure AD options. I will click the link and my browser asks me to save this file and I click save as and I will save them temporarily on my desktop and I will save them and I will change the name a little bit because I will make another configuration after this first configuration for my second identity provider that I want to configure and then I will export these parsable options again and I don't want to override this file. So I say this is my uh, OpenID Connect uh, options file and I click save to make sure that this file is persistent. And now I can click to open the file. The file that I opened and that is saved as a text file is in reality a PHP array. An array of properties that helps WPO365 configure the identity provider in question. Since this tutorial is about configuring support for multiple identity providers, I will now go ahead and delete the existing WPO365 configuration and start from scratch and configure a second identity provider. And now I can start from scratch. So I moved ahead and I configured a SAML 2.0 identity provider this time. And I ran the plugin self-test just to make sure that I did everything okay and that WPO365 is working as expected for this second identity provider. So I repeat what I did the first time. I will navigate to the three dots to import export and I will again export the Azure AD configuration by clicking the corresponding button. I will click the link for the options file to download it and I will save it and will change the name. I will add a short suffix, in this case SAML, and I will save the file and I can click to open it to view it. So at this point in time, I have two files and each of these files contains an array, a PHP array, that defines an identity provider for WPO365. So my next step is to merge this information into a new array and add that array to my WordPress website's wp-config. 